Welcome back to the channel. We are at the shop here now, little sidebar. Some of you guys may or may not know this, a lot of you I know are recently new to the channel, but we are at InShane Designs and also Detail Lab. Now Detail Lab is my company, I share space with Shane, I do a lot of work with Shane, I do a lot of work for Shane in terms of paint corrections before clear brawls, ceramic coatings, etc. So I kind of share a space in here with him, so you'll see me in here a lot, um, just kind of hanging out, working, it just, it works out well right now to be in the same space with him. I don't, you know, go through a, a plethora of cars, so I just really need, you know, backspace over there, and I'm good to go. So anyways, we're here. Detail Lab, we specialize in paint corrections, ceramic coatings, pretty much any basic detailing all the way up to some high-end detailing stuff. So you can find all the info on my website. I'm not gonna kind of dive into it here, but if you go to detail-lab.com, I'll put it on screen. Uh, you can also check out our Instagram at detail.lab, but plenty of just detailing content. That's all I post on that Instagram. And then the website is more professional. It's got all your services kind of listed out for you um, and explains kind of the processes through those each individual services. But what we are here for today is this truck. I want to kind of explain this to you. You probably know by the title what I'm going to talk about, but it might look okay on camera right now, but the paint on this truck, because it's black too, that doesn't help. Needs some help. Uh, what happened was a customer came to us. He said, hey, you know, I got all these water spots. The dealership kind of did some warranty work to remove the water spots and the paint's kind of, you know, a little scratched up and I'd, I'd like a ceramic coating, but I, I want that fixed before we ceramic coat it. Now, the right way to do things before you ceramic coat a car is to perfect that paint, then either put your paint protection film down or your ceramic coating, if you're gonna skip the paint protection film, I always recommend to put paint protection film on. You can always coat on top of that film then to bring a lot of that gloss and shine back. But this customer decided he just wanted paint correction, ceramic coating. So we're gonna go ahead and remove a lot of the dealer defects that were put into the paint with them trying to fix the paint initially. So he had water spots and what water spots are, are you know, you ever see the, all the spotting. Well, what's happening is the water it rains and then it evaporates and it leaves mineral deposits behind. And those mineral deposits actually etch into your paint. So the best way to fix that and really the only way to fix that is to compound the paint, get all that taken leveled down through the clear coat and then go through and polish and pull all that gloss back out. When you compound, it kind of gets a little hazy and you gotta kind of bring that back out because that compounding stage is just meant to cut through the paint, remove those defects. So. What the dealership did on this truck is they compounded with probably a rotary on a wool pad and left a lot of hazing. And I'll try to get it on camera here. So you guys see all right here. See how there's kind of a milky haze in the paint? See the light, you see all these, these lines coming off the light right here. That's in the paint. That's from improper polishing and no finishing polish. So that's all over the truck. So we're gonna use Rupes Medium. We're gonna kinda do a heavy one step on this that should take care of everything before the coating, get it all prepped for the coating, go through, polish it with a one step Sonax perfect finish and a medium yellow Rupes foam pad. Go through there, get everything taken care of. I'll show you the results and maybe a little bit as we're going along here and then we'll go on to the coating. Little update, I did this panel right here just to test it. Big 21 inch Rupes machine, flat panels. They work really well in trucks, but let me show you. So I stopped right about here at this body line again, right about here. This is not touched. This is corrected with the Sonax. See, so hopefully you can see the clarity here. Let me come over. Look at the bulb. You guys are looking at the bulb of the scan grip here. You see all that? That is a combination, all the, see how there's like kind of star, like rays coming out of the bulb? That's a combination of compounding and hazing and then all those circular swirls, that's improper drying, improper washing. Let me come back over here. That should be crystal clear. Again, tough to see sometimes, but over here, you can see this easily. So that's what we're doing. We're going for this on the whole car, and then when we're done, that'll get ceramic coated. So next step, now that the test panel is done, we're gonna get some tape out, tape all the plastic areas, all the emblems, 
around all the important spots and then we'll crank through the rest of the car. We have this side of the truck's done. See it's taped off here. We have some lower portions to do. Don't mind my apparel. Got like my, you know, headset so you can see what you're doing here, you know, like this. This is nice because it prevents you from scratching anything and then it holds polishes and some towels and stuff. Just ignore it, but. Hopefully you guys can see that light now. Remember earlier in the video, there was holograms, marks all over the place. Ignore the glass for now. That's gotta get polished. But you can see that's all taken care of. The truck is pretty much completed, so it's gonna get prepped. We're finishing up for the evening and it'll get prepped tomorrow. Oh, while you're here, because I like that a lot. Oh, the Cut, let's up. take a timeout. Timeout on this. <laughs> let's look right over there. I'll just, I'll wait. Are you done over there? That's a no. Now, my only gripe with this mic is it's not the uh, super cab, I think is what they call it. I, I want the four doors. That's my, my only gripe. But this would be the color I get, or the new lead foot color, which is like that. The desert tan. No, the lead foot, which is like the Nardo gray. Look at it. Dude, I love this thing. Like, and you got a matching, matching Mustang, wasn't it? I just, I just I, you, you, you know what? The, the vet. You know what I, you know what I really, really want? I just want to drive and hit a pothole and be like, hmm, and not care. Wouldn't that be nice? I mean, it's nice for you. Do you think I could put a train horn on this and not look like a total douche? Yeah. Dude, look at that. Look how. Look Where do you want to go? Look at it. Oh man. Applebee's. <laughs> Little update on this. So, stripes are now on. He had red before. We put satin on there. I think that looks good. Let me know what you guys think. So, we gotta polish some glass here. I'll show you that. I don't know if it'll show up here. You can see all these water spots. So, we have to polish the glass. Get that done. Let me walk over here. Kind of do a little time lapse for you. Go on. It's a little hectic in here right now. And then hopefully when it calms down, we'll get back into talking and chatting here. Good news was able to get most of the water spotting out of the window. So, you can see it there, it's a little clear. There you go. There's still some minor etching that's just not gonna come out, but it's much better. There's, this one was the test window. Look at the front one here. Look around the light, you can see, see all of it there. It's pretty bad. So, what I ended up having to do was microfiber cutting pad with flat top this stuff it's a really really aggressive hard paint compound much better i think we'll be very happy with it it's not 100 percent again though he kind of really was just like see what you can do glass is just very tough uh, normally you shouldn't let it get that bad but Sometimes not much you can do. So doing the customer a favor, cleaning up the best we can without, you know, charging him a lot of money. He is, you know, spending money for the full paint correction and the coating. So uh, to me, at least how I operate, it's, you know, kind of take care of it. Before we're wrapping up for tonight, I want to do a little walk around the shop, a little update. Glass is all done. So tomorrow night, I know this is going to be a couple days in one vlog, but tomorrow night, this truck is getting coated. And I know in the last video, you guys were a little upset. You didn't see the Grand Sport stripes on the Corvette, but I will be sure to show you the coated car after it gets its coating on there. Now, you got to wait about seven to 10 days for it to fully cure, but uh, once that coating goes on within a couple hours, you'll start to see it cure. So I will uh, be sure to show that to you guys. You have Mike's 570S, 
Hopefully the color comes through better on my camera. I have the front end prepped for him. It's getting the clear bra grill and all that down there. It's been cleaned out. It had a bunch of leaves. You can see him there. But uh, this color is literally fire. Uh, little fun fact, I was before I got a white 12C, I was actually looking at a McLaren orange um, 12C, and then I saw a Volcano orange, and I really like Volcano orange, but that didn't have the interior spec that I liked. It had this like mesh, cheap looking kind of interior spec, so I didn't want the Volcano orange one, and I wanted a white one, but it had to be a pearl white. So the white on my car is has the depth like this, but unfortunately you don't see it because it's white. I mean, in direct sunlight you really see it, but you don't see much of it kind of like you do in natural lighting under here. I shouldn't say natural lighting, but you know, heavy lighting under here. Oh, you've heard me talk about this today with Mike. Look at it. I mean, come on, just... I need it. I'm gonna go home, get some sleep, got a bunch of stuff to do tomorrow out of the state for work, and then we'll come back to the shop, we'll code it, and I'll show you guys the results. Here you can see the coating is flashing right now. See how it's kind of turned like to an oil slick color? You can see where I stopped the little section there I did and it kind of cross hatched. So we're gonna let that sit for about 30, 40 seconds. It's gonna flash over and then we're gonna remove this. And what happens if you don't remove this, all this excess, you'll see this almost like a, an oil slicker streaking on the paint and it'll be permanently on there. Only way to fix this, if you leave it dry and cure and not level it, is you have to polish it off and you have to polish the whole panel. So we're gonna go ahead, finish the door. We're doing it in sections at a time. Finish this side, move on to the other side, roof, come back, do a second coat and so forth. truck is now completed. It's gonna sit inside here for 24 hours. What we did was we did multiple coats, waited about an hour in between those base coats, and then we did a top coat of Gion Booster, which is a 12 month topper for coatings that helps maintain the coating. So, car's gonna sit here for 24 hours because we do not want it to get wet for at least that minimum amount of time. It's gonna continue to cure up to seven to 10, sometimes even 14 days, depending on the weather, humidity, etc. But let me show you guys the results. I didn't film much of the process. I've already done two or three videos on ceramic coatings. I'll put one or two of them in the description below or a card up in the corner. But take a look at this, came out really great. I wanted to show you guys the final product, hence why the video had to span over a couple days, but I think he's gonna be very, very happy. And the satin Grand Sport style stripes really sets the truck off. So just some minor things to clean up tomorrow. Uh, you guys don't need to see that. It's just kind of TLC type stuff. But uh, again, I wanted to show this to you. Came out phenomenal. Just another detailing video, blended it with the vlog for you guys. If you liked what you see, you know what to do. Click that red subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.